please welcome Drew Harrison, everybody! Oh, hey guys. How's everybody doing? Ran into my doppelganger at Port City Java the other day. Except it was a female version of me. Same hat, same boat shoes, same everything. So now I know I'm shaving a sports bra away from looking like a pretty decent lesbian at this point. It's 2016, you gotta know your options. At the beginning of the year, I went ahead and I made the switch. Batted for the other team, wore the sports bra, shaved the beard. And then this bald vegan told me he loved me four days into it. day job, I am a vet assistant, or as my friends like to tell me, I'm a puppy nurse. <laughs> Which is weird, like, because I come from the human side of medicine. I worked in the human side of medicine for eight years, and then moved over to the animal world. And things are different. They're so different. Like, if you go to your doctor and they say you need an MRI, you don't ask how much that's going to cost me. But in the animal world, these people will run up to you like it is the end of the world, carrying their chihuahua named Precious. Like, please! She fell off the bed! I think her leg's broken. Do whatever it needs to take. I don't care what it costs. Please, this is my baby. I love her. And then you come back out, you tell them it's going to be $400, and they're like, <laughs> I mean, that dog walked up to the house like two weeks ago. Uh, any chance she can just like walk it off or something? It's a lot of money. But I'm getting older, I'm getting older, and I'm realizing uh, that even th like even expressions change when you get older. You know, like, when I was in my 20s and a friend told me they had a friend with benefits, that means that they had a friend that gave them some benefits on the side. Now I'm 30, friends with benefits to me just means I'm happy my buddy got a job with a 401k plan. <laughs> Finally, get that rash checked out he's had since 05 from having too many friends with benefits. At first, it was funny, but now we're seriously concerned. And I do that, I struggle every day with whether if I want to get in shape, or I just want to say screw it. And as you can tell, which side of the fence I'm leaning towards. Cause it's weird, like, I'm just gonna let you guys know we're all gonna fall apart. Every last one of us, we're all gonna fall apart. So let me ask you a question. Do you wanna blow your knee out at 50? On your morning jog, cause that's what you do, you jog in the morning. Or, do you wanna blow your knee out at 40? At Golden Corral. Cause you turn too fast cause they put out fresh rolls on the buffet line. I'll take option number two, please. Option. I've already got it planned out what I'm going to tell my doctor in my head, like, when I go in for my first knee replacement. Like, what happened, Miss Harrison? It was a honey butter related injury. Go ahead and take the second one. It's going to happen again. I'm just going to happen. I'm not going to be satisfied until I'm going to go corral my hover around. And you know how when cats go, when it's their time to die, they go off into the woods and they die alone like they want to be by themselves? When it's my turn to go, I'm going to go down to Golden Corral, <laughs> get one last plate, sit with some family I don't know, and enjoy one last roll and just, just put my body behind the Latino lady serving steak. That's all I ask. You all know who I'm talking about. You all know who I'm talking about. Ah, uh, but I'm getting divorced. Getting divorced. Where are my divorced people at? There we go. All right. Yeah, forget all you happy people. That's <laughs> getting divorced, and right before uh, we split up, we got into a pretty good knockdown drag out, and she turned to me, and she said, why don't you just go kill yourself? 
take it easy. Before you judge her, that's just how we fought. Like her next sentence was, do you want to go get Frosties at Wendy's? <laughs> but I thought about it. You know, like you can't tell someone like me, you should go kill yourself and not expect me to sit down with a pen and a pad one afternoon and hash out how I would do that. And this is what I came up with. I think I would jump out of a plane without a parachute. Yeah. But I would do it at night because I have commitment issues. I wouldn't want to see the ground coming. <laughs> but I would plan out the trajectory perfectly to where I would fall straight through the roof of her brand new house. <laughs> With just a note attached to me somewhere, but like, I don't follow through on shit? Yeah, okay. <laughs> But uh, if you haven't figured it out yet, uh, I'm terrible at this adult thing. Like, I'm bad at, at being an adult. Like, at least five times a day I say, they let me do this? All right, cool, whatever. <laughs> like, I should have just gone from my mom's house to an assisted living facility, is what I'm saying. <laughs> and I just now realize that those credit cards that you get in the mail that says card name holder here are not actual credit cards. <laughs> I thought you wrote your name on it and you were good to go. So I'm the asshole holding up the line of Starbucks be like, swipe it again, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> the poor barista has to come back like, sir, were you approved to use this credit card? I was pre-approved, actually, sir. <laughs> she can swipe it again. But I realized I couldn't use the cards like that. So I came up with a scheme on how I could use these 42 credit cards they send me a month. You go to your favorite fast food establishment, one that has the one window. The second one they built, never intended to use it, it's just see-through storage at this point. You order a big meal, and then you get a drink. And then when you pull around, what do they always have ready for you? That drink. You hand them the fake credit card, they hand you the drink, and then you just drive off. It's not the 1200 Chase promised me, but we're getting there one 199 sweet tea at a time. I recommend Hardee's on Carolina Beach Road. They never see it coming. They never see it coming. Hey, I'm Drew Harrison, guys.